think we're all up to speed on the configuration utility vulnerability that is detailed in CVE 2020-5902. And John covered it in a previous light board that I'll link at the end. But today, I'm gonna to cover indicators of compromise and a tool that's been written to check for them that was uh, written by an F5ENE. Shout out to David Wang. But first things first, what the heck is an indicator of compromise? That's just a fancy way of saying there's evidence present in a system that malicious activity might have occurred. And because it's fancy, it gets its own acronym, IOC. Not the International Olympic Committee, but Indicator of Compromise. Secondly, before we get into the details of the script, I need to make a couple legal disclaimers given that we're talking about finding IOCs. Because those can change as attackers continually improve their exploits, it's possible this tool won't cover all the IOCs when executed. We will be updating the tool as we find new IOCs, so subscribe to the GitHub project to get those updates. However, it is not possible to prove a device has not been compromised. When there is any uncertainty, it should be considered compromised. Also, it's important to consider that not all compromised F5 devices will show the same indicators, as skilled attackers may be able to remove traces of their work. As we discussed in our DC Connects live Q&A sessions, attackers can get root from this vulnerability. Make sure if you're going to run it, you do it during off-peak times, just to make sure it doesn't interrupt your business operations. And if any IOCs are identified, F5 does recommend you follow your internal incident re response procedures. Now, to the script. It's Python, by the way, which makes me super happy, because Python is the bomb. We're adding it to the F5 Dev Central community org on GitHub, because we would like the community to contribute as you guys find more IOCs. That just helps us all. So what does it do? To be clear, the script's sole purpose is to check for indicators of compromise for this vulnerability. There's no current plan to make this a general purpose tool, but as it will be in the community purview, knock yourself out. There are no exploits included, and we will not be accepting or publishing exploits. So what kind of indicators is the tool checking for? The first thing it's going to check is your big IP version. If you're not vulnerable, kudos, all good to go. However, if you are vulnerable, it's gonna go through a list of other things to check. Now this is not an exhaustive list and it will change as new indicators of compromise um, are added to the tool. But some of the things are admin accounts. If there's any changes to admin accounts, it's, it's gonna note that. Looking at user partitions, if there's any additional partitions or user privileges within those um, partitions have changed, maybe they got moved from um, you know, a resource administrator to an SSL cert administrator, anything like that, that's gonna be, that's gonna be flagged in the tool. Also, uh, anything temp or any other shared, uh, shared system uh, directories, anything that's gonna be changed in those, that, that might get flagged. Big one is audit logs. So whether you're modifying or um, anything that might have been modified, anything that might have been deleted. Also, maybe something that's been uh, created in uh, your var log directory, you have additional log files. That's something that, that it's going to check for. Also, the dot dot semicolon and also the hsqldb. Anything that's present in the uh, journal CTL, anything like that that shows up in journal CTL, that's definitely going to be an indicator that malicious activity has been occur uh, that has occurred. So again, there's there's more things that it's going to check than that uh, that's not exhausted. But after it does its thing, then it's going to print out a handy report of its finding. False positives are definitely possible because you know operationally you might be adding admin accounts. You might be escalating or de-escalating um, user permissions within partitions. So, you know, when you see a false positive, you, you definitely want to, um, oh, I'm sorry, when you have a finding, um, you know, you want to go through all the findings manually because, um, you know, there may be valid reasons for those to be present. So, you know, the great thing about automating uh, system checks like this is because if you aren't a shop that has one big IP, but you might have a hundred big IPs. It's uh, 
you know, it saves a lot of time. But even if you're a shop of one or two, it takes out the human error of maybe overlooking a particular process. So, you know, and again, just because you don't have indicators of compromise that, that report from this scan, it doesn't mean you're not compromised. So keep that in mind. Also, remember, not F5 supported or maintained. It's for the community, by the community. Thanks for joining me today. If you like this video, click subscribe. We'll see you out there in the community.